All right, here we are in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to show you how to make a monogram. So I'm going to grab this uh, CC I have for Chanel here, and uh, I got LV, like a Louis Vuitton logo. So we're, you know, I don't know if these are the right fonts or what, but they're close. So um, I'm going to uh, just do an option drag, and that gives me you know, copies of it. So uh, now I've just we can look at the original one. So first of all, if you don't know how to type, you just grab the type tool here, click, and go to town, right? I'm going to get rid of that and um, we'll go up here to window. We'll go to type and we'll pull out our character palette. So you can see some of this real quick and uh, you can just go to show options and then you have even more tools down here. But, you know, the gist of it, you know, you could select one letter and make it smaller if you wanted to. Right. Um, yeah, you can uh, put them closer together. I'll show you that real quick. You know, like this. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, but we're not going to do any of that. We're going to actually make this a monogram. So we're going to get complete control. So uh, select it, go to uh, type, pull down to create outlines, and then we're going to go up here to object and we're going to ungroup it. Now we've got uh, individual letters. They're not fonts anymore. You can't change this to a different letter. So we can move them around though. See that? So now we're getting even already closer to the uh, monogram we're looking for. So we've got movement now. I'm holding shift and that makes it so I can only move it in a straight line. Um, if I let go, I can move it all around. So that helps. Next step is um, over here, you're going to see some tools. We, it's standardly on the rotate and we're going to mess with this guy uh, scale, but we're actually going to use shear. So you click on the rotate tool and you'll see that there's a reflect tool here. So we want that one and you can hold a uh, command and click on something or you can just go all the way back up here and do it. So I'm going to do it that way so you can see it. I'm going to double click reflect and I'm just going to use the vertical axis, axis sorry, and hit OK. Now I've got a backwards C. Real simple, right? Now I'm going to click, I'm going to hold shift so it goes in a straight line, and I'm going to move it over here. Mm, what do we have? Boom. Fancy. Okay. Now let's do Louis V. So another monogram style logo. I'm going to uh, option and drag it so I can copy it. I'm going to go up here to type, create outlines, object, ungroup. Now I've got freedom, and I'm going to just... I believe that they've scaled theirs a little. So I'm going to do a non-symmetrical scale. If I was to hold this and scale around, I can do whatever I want. Right? If I hold shift, it makes me do it proportionally. But I am actually going to not do it proportionally, which is kind of unusual these days. Just to give it a little stretch, I think their logo has a little stretch. And then I'm going to bring this over here, similar to how they have it. And then I'm going to go over here on this scale tool, but I'm going to get the sheer version of it. And I'm just going to drag it. I'm going to hold shift a little so it doesn't let me go up and down like this. I hold shift, I just go like that. And now I've got an angled, uh, an L. And yeah, that's just about it. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, you get the idea. So this is how they're doing that. Um, you, know, you break them apart. Now, uh, to get a little further in, if we click on this and we want to add a, an outline around it, uh, you're, you're going to need this, trust me. We're going to open our stroke uh, palette here so we can see that. And then uh, up here, you know, you activate stroke and fill. So I'm going to get the stroke. I'm going to make it uh, just red for this. And I'm going to bump the stroke up. Now we can see it. But there's a problem here. They're intersecting strokes, right? So if you just select these, you go to Window and pull down to Pathfinder, you're going to find this is a very handy so the first one is just unite so that combines two shapes i just clicked on it now look at that the stroke is where you want it so you can play with these modes there's minus front minus back so just play with all these just hit undo and just keep going through them but anyways that's the basics of how you combine two letters and make a monogram hope that helped if it did hit like leave me a comment thanks